I do the summer program here um, for kids ages 6 to 12. We do a lot of fun things like soccer games, um, crafts. Um, we do tours downtown. Okay, Kira, run. You're the chicken. The program Brandis Mack is talking about is the Rec Center's Imagination Park program. It's a program Brandis herself was a part of when she was growing up in Cornell. When I went through the program, I even still think back to it, and I have, I have a positive memory about it. Um, it's a lot of fun. I did crafts and games, and I made a lot of friendships through the program. So it's a great um, way for kids to um, meet other kids um, in our community. I think it makes a lot of good things for the kids. Like, they make a lot of new friends instead of just sitting at home and stuff. So I haven't been in it as a kid, but I always wanted to. I always heard other kids in it, and I definitely wanted to go in it, but I never got the chance. So now's my chance. <laughs> I wanted more experience working with children. I, um, I just got a degree in psychology and I'd love to work with kids, so I figured this was a great way to start. So It's a lot of kids that like to engage in kids in activities like playing outside and hands-on crafts and them getting to meet new people and make new friends. How many horses do you have painted? Looking at those broad gummy smiles, you can clearly see that school's out and that this is way more fun. It's why people like Brandis come back to be leaders in this program. We work with kids, we do a variety of activities like playing tag, floor hockey, and crafts, like make dream catchers, dress up as superheroes, and things like that. Um, we do tours like at the museum, that's where we're going next week. Um, we went to the timber park this week, so a lot of fun stuff like that. They get out of the house and outdoor activities. We try and get them to play with each other and make friendships and stuff like that. I'm actually not from Quinell, so I'm new to here. So I'm like, even when we go do our trips during the week, like go to the museum and go to the, we went to West Fraser Timber Park yesterday. That was the first time for me too. Like I, I didn't, yeah, I'd never been to any of these places too, so that's all new to me as well. Um, even though I've been around kids my whole life, I've learned a lot of new stuff with them, like how to work with them, how to adapt to them, like all their different behaviors and stuff. I've still learned a lot from them. <laughs> With the summer of 2015 slated to be the most expensive summer of all time, the Imagination Park program is also an exciting opportunity for caribou staycationers to keep their kids occupied. It doesn't really seem like a job, like it seems more like fun activities, like I get to do stuff with the kids and stuff, so I don't know, it goes by fast, it's really fun, I enjoy it a lot. Just being able to bring a smile on their faces through like activities we do, like just playing a simple game like tag outside, or working on a craft. With the program filling up fast, parents are encouraged to register their kids as soon as possible for available slots at the end of July and in August. Definitely register, it's a lot of fun. It's not like school, we do a lot of super fun things, so um, if you're looking for something new and interesting to do in the summer, it's a blast, so come register. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Anand Chandy.